In this video, part of our ongoing series on auto claims, Chris Stanley, a podcast host and founder of IA Path, is going to answer the question, can you earn a good living as an independent auto adjuster? And we're gonna start right now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And thanks to Brandon from email who says, thanks for all your helpful videos. They are certainly helpful for somebody trying to break into the industry. You truly gave me the push that I needed to make the switch in jobs. Thanks for watching, Brandon. In this video, Chris Stanley from IA Path breaks down one of the most popular questions asked about the independent adjusting industry. Take it away, Chris. Thanks, Matt, appreciate it. All right, IA, I'm here today to answer a question that a lot of you have, and a lot of you have asked me, and if you haven't asked me, you're probably thinking yourself, especially if you've heard about all the money you can make in property. Can you make a good living working as an auto damage appraiser, as an independent auto adjuster, et cetera? Is there even a good living in this? So that's what I'm here to talk about. For me, starting out, I had no experience, I had a mentor, and I was given an opportunity with one company to cover a large daily claims area. I drove a bunch of hours in each direction to earn the ability and right to write auto claims. But what I was able to do my very first year in my first full year was $42,000. Now for a lot of people, that's not enough money to survive. I was dumb, I was young. I didn't know to diversify who I was getting work from. I didn't know to work for multiple companies and, and that therefore increase my revenue. But my first year I made 42 and I felt pretty dang good about that. Coming from working at a warehouse, Walmart distribution, making 28, if I got overtime, busting my butt, throwing boxes, I felt great about it. Later on in my career, as I started understanding how this game was played and I started getting connected with more companies and, and knowing to diversify myself and handle heavy equipment and RVs and, all these different things, I started making in the 80s, so $80,000 a year. Now, there's other ways to increase your income other than just doing daily auto, and you're probably already thinking, well, what about catastrophe, Chris? I'm more interested in working catastrophe. And this is a huge, not myth, but misconception about catastrophic claims. You can make great money. I say, hell yeah, you can make $500 a day working hail claims. But hail claims for auto does not produce typically long-term storms for an auto IA. An average storm to me is 10 to 14 days. I think if I'm getting deployed to a hailstorm, me as a competent, confident auto hail adjuster, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be working two weeks. Now, sometimes I got longer deployments than that. Sometimes I worked six to eight weeks straight, but I don't plan on that and I don't want you to plan on that. So you're probably thinking, well, Chris, what can I plan on? If I'm gonna go work auto claims, during a hailstorm, what can I count on? Well, one, you can't count on anything. If you haven't learned that about this industry, learn it right now. You can't count on anything, but if you get in with multiple companies and you start getting deployed regularly to the major hailstorms, I averaged about $40,000 during the hail season. Now the hail season is only March to August and really you're working May, June, July. That's really where you're picking up steam. And so to make $40,000 in that three, four month span, is good then if you're doing auto daily claims or daily property claims or handling other types of claims that'll generate revenue the rest of the year you can make a good living so the answer is yes you can make a good living but there's some things you need to do is number one you need to work for multiple companies and i would suggest that you be on over five rosters that are consistently giving you work. You need to have at least three major companies that are feeding you work on a weekly basis. Claims are coming in on a consistent basis from them. Then you need to expand your coverage area if needed to increase your revenue. Don't be scared to expand your area to get more claims. It can pay off. And in fact, mileage a lot of times, uh, if you learn how to play that game, whole nother video on that, can generate enough revenue to take you to that next level of income in your business so don't be afraid expand your coverage area if needed to where the help is needed and then you can also diversify your where your claims are coming from not only with companies like we did uh like we just talked about but you can expand by working other types of claims heavy equipment rv motorcycle scene inspections all these different things you can handle to increase your revenue plus catastrophic claims uh during the year when they come up 
but to be able to do both daily and catastrophic claims, you gotta be really good at statusing and balancing both the daily claims business and the hail or catastrophe claims business. What I would do is always inform my daily firms that I worked for, hey, during hail season, I am going to go work storms. And so I'm going to let you know once March hits to start backing me out. And I planned on working hard during the hail season uh, and it was tough. Sometimes I let people down. Most times though, I just was lean for a little bit, but I more than made up for it during the hail season. So yes, you can make a good living working as a auto adjuster, but don't stop there. Don't just think, hey, let me go work a few auto claims and boom, I'm gonna make money, it's just gonna happen. No, you are the business owner and you need to pursue new companies, new business, new lines of revenue, whether that's property, auto, RV, heavy equipment, whatever it is, whatever the case may be, you can make a good living as an independent auto adjuster, but understand, getting above six figures in auto is a lot harder to hit. You really gotta be hustling. You gotta be working hard to do it, but you can do it. But it's a lot easier to get started in auto, but I don't suggest you to sit in auto for the rest of your career. Use auto as a revenue stream in your business and increase your revenue by adding other lines of claims, property, heavy equipment, etc. All right, Matt back to you. Question of the day, what do you think? Are you interested in getting started in auto claims? Let us know in the comments below. And for much more information about Chris and IA Path, head on over to adjustertv.com slash auto. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. So why don't skeletons ever go trick or treating? because they have no body to go with. I've got a lot, I'm doing dad jokes at the very, very, very end. No. Oh yeah, yes I am.